Oops. Hey there guys, back in Elwa and uh, enjoying it, just mowing the lawns and I'm just having a break. So while I'm having a break, let's uh, talk about Starlink, eh? Let's talk about internet here in Elwa or in Tonga, in all of Tonga. There is uh, quite a few spots that Tonga doesn't have internet, right? And specifically where I am, nothing at all. So I have to drive up into town, get access to internet data and upload these videos. And the uploads take forever. And I can't just down, go in there, download it in 10 minutes and come back. So sometimes, like yesterday, I went to download a 30 minute video on YouTube it took all afternoon and still nothing came back home it's just a tiny bit so and i downloaded a 42 minute video over in tonga it took me like day and a half or pretty much 24 hours i think it took me for that one to upload it's just crazy the, the how slow everything is and not only that no access so it would be good if we had starlink here I mean, when the volcano eruption happened and the, the tsunami happened, everything went down. Um, the, the, when the cable broke, um, there was no no internet at all. So Elon Musk brought a satellite over and gave access to 50, 50 Starlink uh, dishes. And um, nothing's come of it ever since. So it would be nice for us to access Starlink. And Tonga has not accepted Starlink yet. It's accepted those 50. And I guess those 50 are the government officials. And they still have it. But um, it would be nice to for the government to be able to accept Starlink. So everyone can benefit from it um, over here. Unlimited internet. So everyone can access wherever they are. So all these secluded beaches around this island specifically. You don't get internet someone drowns has an injury um dies even um the person next to them or the person who's injured cannot have internet to ring go or uh, or um, phone service to go um can you come and uh save me because i've broken my leg or or something like that yep and uh so that's very interesting if not, they don't want Starlink, put more access uh, 5G poles around. I mean, there's nothing on this side of the island. And a lot of people go down this side of the island, the Haruma, right down to the end. They've got um, plantations down here. And sooner or later, people will start living in these areas. Maybe 10 years, I reckon, there'll, there'll, there'll be people having um, living in these areas. So, I reckon we should have Starlink to be able to access everything. It's very frustrating with how slow everything is over here. Um, when I've just been overseas last week, I was over there for three weeks, three three and a half weeks, and it was so good to have. Whoa! Oops, my stand is just a log and some nails. This is what it is. <laughs> so. I was just overseas for three weeks and the internet access is everywhere. In there's Wi-Fi everywhere, right? Um, I, I bought 20 gigs for the for the three weeks. I came came back, I still had 10 gigs left, 11 or 10 gigs left because malls, uh, restaurants, uh, everywhere you go, there's free Wi-Fi. Um, all the Airbnbs we went into, free Wi-Fi. So, um, to be honest, we should have a better system over here, a better uh, phone service. Uh, we've got two systems over here. There's Digicel and TCC, and they're very expensive. So for 20 gigs for me on this, um, $50 time for 20 gigs. And I go through it like that. And I can't even upload, because it's fast, just so slow. Like maybe a five minute video, I can upload that. It goes through. Um, Okay, 
But this, anything over 10 minutes is, yeah, it's too long and it takes way too long to, to download. So, and not only that, the service, I don't know what it is on certain days. You go up into town, it breaks off, you're trying to talk to people overseas, can't really see them, the pixels blur. And it's just the service here is, I, I don't know. It's supposed to have 5G, there's not 5G, that's for sure. Because, uh, yeah, everything's very pixelated and it's, yeah, it breaks up all the time. So, man, I, I just, I just reckon, um, you know, and what, what um, the people could do is get one household to have Starlink, right? And then all the houses around it, let's say, for instance, there's maybe five houses around it or six houses around it. Everyone has access to that due over Wi-Fi and everyone pitches in $5 or $10 a month. Perfect. You know, that, that, that internet access will be really good for them. Uh, for me, for me out here, I definitely need it. Because, um, as everyone knows, my dad passed away during the COVID period. Mum had no access to anyone to come and save him. Like, he's had a heart attack right there. And mum's, like, panicking, crying, and she doesn't know what to do. Because at the, at the time, dad was um, um, replacing a, a spare tire. So she couldn't even drive couldn't lift him she it was too heavy and so she had to run up the run up the road go to right up there and found a vehicle up on the corner going past if it wasn't that no one would have access to it but if if it was there instantly we could just ring up emergency ambulance bang down you know p people can be saved and uh, defibrillator boom on it goes but man i just i just reckon Tonga needs to do something about the internet access. Um, all the world is driving straight past with their technology. Tonga is still in last century. Um, it's still on dial-up. That's what it feels like. Um, that's how, how slow it is. The dial-up. Like that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, fast reading, but I don't know, you guys, I don't know, whoever watches my videos and is in Tonga, what do you guys reckon? Starlink, I think it's 150 New Zealand um, for unlimited uh, per month. 150 New Zealand per month, unlimited. Like, I go through $50, $50 anyway within two weeks. And depending on how many uploads I have, I can go through that easy, very easily. So, I reckon Starlink is the way. Elon Musk, if you can see this, or well, whoever in the government push this. I know one thing about the government, I don't think they want um, Starlink to, to happen. is because everyone's going to go to Starlink and leave this uh, TCC and digital, digital, uh, digital cell behind. And they will lose all their customers. I think that's what it is. But they should have unlimited access over here to their to their uh, internet. Um, costs a little bit more. Let's say, for instance, if they compete with Elon Musk, 150 dollars uh, New Zealand for unlimited. Make this make their plans 150 unlimited. And but the thing is, and upgrade their their system to be be able to um, have. Um, a better access or better, better uh, at least 5g standard um yeah so i i think that's what it is they look at they're gonna lose customers and they're gonna lose money and you know those the everyone's corrupted over here anyway and i think that's the corrupted guys uh uh getting benefiting out of out of that with all the money that they're getting through these two two companies so i don't know if our digicel is Tongan, I think Digicel is um, a different company altogether, a worldwide company, but for TCC or Ucall, they're a Tongan company, and I think it's a government-run uh, company, so um, they'll definitely lose out, so yeah, but very frustrating, right? Um, so 
This is nine minutes. I better leave it ten minutes. I better leave it uh, leave it there. All right, guys. That's about it for now. I'll upload some more videos. God bless. And peace.